Welcome to a special report inside Ring of Honor. This week we take a special look at the most controversial wrestler ever in Ring of Honor history, Kevin Steen. We want Steen! Kevin Steen had one of the most promising futures in Ring of Honor. For several years, Steen and El Generico were a top-ranked tag team. But after a loss to the Young Bucks at Final Battle 2009, Kevin Steen irreparably severed the friendship. We would soon learn that Steve Carino was the mastermind of this shocking turn of events. Half a world away in Japan at the time of Steen's attack on El Generico, Carino made the case that Kevin Steen was being held back by his partnership with the good-natured Generico, that he could only reach his potential if Steen first destroyed his partner. You know, it didn't take much convincing. I just told him where he's got to be, what he's got to do, because this man's going to be the world champion one day, but he's got dead weight around him. And last night, he got the dead weight out of him. Because 2010 is the year of Mr. Wrestling. Steve Carino. Kevin Steve. <laughs> and the war raged throughout 2010 with violent confrontations throughout North America. At Glory by Honor 9, Steve would up the ante. Oh my God! Oh my God! Let's do it one last time. Steve versus Generico. I win. This comes off. You win, I leave, yes or no? ROH officials were desperate for this issue to end and pressured both sides to settle the score. Steen offered to put his ROH career on the line in a fight without honor, an unsanctioned match at Final Battle 2010. Kevin Steen's Ring of Honor career was over and he returned home to Montreal bitter and resentful. Even his few remaining friends were worried about Steen's mental state. Meanwhile, Steve Carino, ashamed of his part in ruining Steen's career, vowed to rehabilitate his own image by helping other young ROH wrestlers and to help bring Steen back. Carino invited Steen to best in the world so Steen could apologize. Kevin Steen deserves the top. Tell you, tell you, Jim, tell you, Carrie, the new owner, all the boys in the back, everybody here tonight, and everyone watching, my name is Kevin Steen. Let's bring the ROH executive producer Jim Cornette was rightfully incensed. I swear to God, on my mother's grave, this is the last any of us will ever see you in a ring of honor ring. But Steen would appear again in New York City at Death Before Dishonor, confronting El Generico, Ring of Honor officials, and even ROH founder Kerry Silken. Kevin Steen, once touted as a potential future world champion, banished from Ring of Honor, but now taking legal action against the company. Steve Carino, racked with guilt and ashamed of what he helped create. Jim Cornette, adamant and unyielding. We'll have more on this story as it unfolds. We hope to get comments next week from executive producer Jim Fournette regarding Steen's legal action to try to force his reinstatement back into Ring of Honor. Meanwhile, World Television champion Jay Lethal 
is upset that Mike Bennett continues to claim that he is the real world television champion. Their war of words continues. Let me get one thing straight. I can't stand Mike Bennett. I don't like him. I don't like his attitude. I don't like his manager. He's been running around saying that he's the real television champion. Quit saying that. The referee asked me if I quit, and I said no. I may not have beat Mike Bennett, but he damn sure didn't beat me either. If Mike Bennett wants a rematch, then he can damn sure have it. I'm going to give it to him, and this one is going to end completely different. But you tell Mike Bennett that his problem is not with the referee. His problem is with Jay Lethal. Now, Jay Lethal is so delusional that he thought he was going to get the shot to fight Davey Richards at final battle. But no, he didn't get it. And now he thinks he's just going to fight me to clear things up. As far as I'm concerned, I'm already the TV champ. I had that match won, but the referee was just too stupid to stop it. So I'll tell you what, I'll give Jay Lethal a rematch for my TV title. <laughs> because I'm just that nice. Ain't that right, Bob? You're a prince, kid. You're a prince. But I will not give Jay Lethal a rematch with Todd Sinclair as the referee. He's either too stupid or he's related to Jay Lethal. I don't know which one. But I want a different referee. Hell, Brutal Bob, you could be the referee. Fair and square, kid. Fair and square. That's a good idea. Most experts say the chances of Brutal Bob refereeing that rematch are slim. Our reminder, final battle comes to you on Friday, December 23rd from New York City, live on pay-per-view for only $14.95. We'll continue the final battle countdown next week inside Ring of Honor. Want more ROH? Log on to ROHWrestling.com, the home for Ring of Honor online. Become a ringside member and get instant discounts on merchandise, DVDs, and internet pay-per-views. Watch over 20 hours of new video every month, including classic matches, out-of-print DVDs, and priority access to the ROH TV show. Interact with stars of ROH in exclusive Q&A sessions. This is the complete Ring of Honor experience. Become a member today at ROHWrestling.com.